Come from here. here. Look. Where the ox is lying in, try to move your leg. This way. Like this, here. And I want to tackle the lower leg. Like that back leg. My hip you should set the straight. Straight here. Boom. Turn the controller that. Onto the basic movement. Uh. Side kick there. So when I go like that, he comes down. That can be another one on the ribcage. I will go full with you onto the basic movement on this. So you can understand the idea. On this movement here, we go through the basic movement you've been practicing again, the fun kick company. So you can go through all the other bits so you know exactly what to do. On this movement here, you attack with a chop kick and then you come back with a side kick, like you try to move away. Let me show you here so you know exactly what to do. Like what you, uh, when you're coming into attacking the movement here, fun kick comes here, your chop kick coming in and then you move like away and then you kick coming that side. Now on the movement here, it's important to wait it. That you wait it this line in, try to move your leg this way. So you can have this leg to come in to make an attack. Okay? Now that movement can be, okay? It can be like this here, and I want to attack the lower leg. Is that back leg? Is that can't be done? It's the same basic quick one. It's uh me down the leg. That's it's easy to see. This one here is the IT I come in like that, I can go like that onto that back leg. That can't be done. But the whole idea of this movement here is trying to get you to set the straight, straight forward, get in line on it. Okay? Very quick and simple. Sometimes when you're working with this movement here, you can't just understand the swapping the fit. This is why you get used to the line, boom here, boom like this. To get used to the, the movement of rhythm of the fit and be responsive to where I want it. Okay? To the movement. If your leg cannot be responsive first, the second, you cannot respond to the movement fast enough to dealt with the line up here. Okay? So this is important. So when you have coming in here, here, boom here, boom here, it's have to be done. Because the first uh, movement you go in is not enough power to able to launch it. The second one is not a lot more to able to overcome the first movement to help you. So the first is not, uh, sometimes it's not enough power for you to hurt them. So you go like that and you turn and that's when you really finish with a second one to create a power. So the movement of it is line. So drop, turn and come in, okay? On the movement there. So line here, 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 here like that. So you create enough power there to able to move him with like that, boom, like that. Okay, so when you're working with the movement, here, boom, turn the controller that. They're coming in. Okay, let's go slowly. So one, chop coming in, keep your hand and move as like you're moving away, okay? That can be used onto the basic movement, uh, side kick there. So when they go like that, he comes down, that can be another one on the ribcage. That's very easily done. So when you're working, if you get used to the first one, then it's easier. When you're coming in, when you're coming to the rest. So the movement of it is control. Control, and then move away, and then move in. So the most important thing, learn to understand it. Sometimes when you put the first movement on, it haven't got enough power, then for you to create power, you need to add another movement on there to make sure you've got enough power to knock them down before you can control them. This is very important. If you can't knock them down, it's difficult to control them later on. Spend some time to practice. I will see you on to the next lesson.